What's up everybody, welcome to your second After Effects tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be creating a basic composition. So before we even get started, in case you uh, messed anything up or I got something different from last time, go up to Window, Workspace, and go to Reset Standard. And what this is going to do is uh, reset your workspace to the basics. Just go ahead and uh, discard changes. And uh, I just did this to make sure that me and you were on the same track and uh, your panels weren't laid out different than mine or anything. And another thing before you get started, make sure you're watching this tutorial on high def. There's a link in my description box on the right hand side of the screen. Now that we got the same looking workspace and everything like that, let's go ahead and create a new composition. And what a composition is, is pretty much like... Um, the thing you're gonna edit. It's pretty much the main thing we're working with if, if I didn't make it clear last time. So go up to composition and type new composition. And for 99% of the time you're just gonna wanna leave these at default. If you know uh, what you're doing then you can change those around but uh, if not then just leave them how they are. And um, one thing I wanna go over here before we get started. Well let, let me first tell you guys how to add footage to your composition. To add footage to your composition, open your composition panel so you got this black screen, just the background with nothing on it. Go over to whatever footage or video clip you have, hold it down, and bring it over and let it go. That's the easiest way to add footage to your composition. Just grab the footage, drag it over, and let it go. Now once we have some footage, now I can tell you guys what I was going to tell you before. There, whenever I'm talking to you guys about footage and time, there are two different ways that you can edit the time. One is by dragging this thing called the CTI or Current Time Indicator. And you can just drag it, and as you can see, it moves simultaneously on the timeline and in your composition panel. Another thing that you can do if you want to go to the exact point is double click this and you can edit time right there. Edit the spot you want to go to. So let me just move this to beginning and it will go the, to the beginning of the clip. Now once you do that, uh, we're ready to move on to the next thing. And if I didn't tell you guys already, uh, which I don't think I did, anytime you add a source to your composition, it becomes known as a layer and it will show up down here. And down here are all the layers of your composition. So now that we learn how to add sources to our composition, uh, let me teach you guys how to use the composition panel so it's like a hundred times more effective. To zoom in on the composition panel, you can either use this, which is zooming in, or you can use a very effective shortcut, which is pressing the comma on your keyboard, which zooms out, or the period on your keyboard, which zooms in. Um, another thing you can do is scroll if you have a mouse wheel on your thing you can scroll in and out and that's a that's another very handy thing now whenever you're working as I said this is one way to go and adjust the time on your timeline and also here but if you want to adjust it frame by frame like you're making a very um, gra very uh, I don't know careful graphic and you're gonna want to add it to every frame you can use the page up which moves the frame back one frame or the page down which moves it frame by frame forward in time and if you hold it down it scrolls back and if you hold it forward it scrolls forward and again those two things are page up and page down now uh, actually I'm gonna stop my tutorial right here since I think we learned enough for right here and my file is getting kinda big but in the next tutorial, I'm going to be going over the next thing, couple things you can do that will help you out on the composition window. So uh, make sure to watch that, and uh, thanks for watching.